In this week's video, I'm gonna show you how I put together this swag off-road kit so that I could hook up a air hydraulic bender to my JD squared model 32 bender. So let's get into it. All right, so this week I finally got my swag off-road kit for my air hydraulic ram mount assembly. And the reason I got this is because I picked myself up a JD squared model 32 bender a little bit ago for a few projects I'm gonna be working on. Uh, and I'll show you those in the upcoming video. But uh, I figured this week, for those of you who are interested, I'm gonna show you how I weld this up and assemble it. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, swagoffroad.com sells these and they have a lot of other cool accessories for off-road stuff as well. But basically the whole idea behind this is that that air hydraulic ramp will fit in here. And then this will act as the locking mechanism to hold it in place, which these bolts go through. And then we have this assembly that we need to weld up and put on here as well, which will be the pivot point for that mount. And I don't know if there's a picture in here or not, but yep, right there. So there's the picture of the assembled piece. So we have extensions for the ram mount, the air hydraulic ram itself being held into place and showing you how that all hooks up together. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you me going through finishing all these welds. I'm gonna take weld everything just because uh, it's a bit of an awkward angle. It's almost like a, uh, or outside corner, I guess you could say. And I feel like I'm gonna try to do a freehand weave on here to fill it across each plate equally without getting too much reinforcement on there. So let's go ahead and get this weld going and see how it turns out. So we got everything welded up uh, a little hard to see doesn't focus the greatest but um, halfway decent welds honestly pretty happy with them these outside corner welds were a little interesting so I initially wanted to fill this in all the way but I decided to first just try to make the best weld I could versus just trying to weave a giant weld on there and I'm pretty sure this is gonna be strong enough for what it's gonna be used for just because it's just holding this in place and we already have a lot of strength through just 
the design of itself and these are more just holding these pieces together and what I'm gonna do just to make sure it does have that extra strength just because I mean compared to MIG welding these welds are a little bit small instead I'm just gonna put a tiny little weld on the inside corner here as well for all four just to kind of give a little extra reinforcement but we've got all the welded parts complete uh, you'll also notice that I didn't completely weld around this tube either and the reason for that is well my torch would not fit where I could actually get the back side of this while maintaining good positions and honestly since we're putting bushings in here there's going to be no rotational force on here it's all going to be applied through the bushing so these are more just keeping that tube in place and honestly welding it all the way doesn't seem like it's actually necessary for how this is going to actually operate so let's go ahead and put a coat of paint on this and then get it hooked up to my bender and see what this finished product looks like. All right, here it is, all finished up and bolted together. So um, honestly, not too bad of a little project to weld together. Pretty quick and easy for the most part. The one thing that I did have to do, shave these down just a little bit with my belt grinder, just to get them to fit inside of here. I don't know if it's the, uh, the tolerance on the plasma or what exactly, but for whatever reason, it was a super tight fit. If I put them in a vise, I probably could, but just trying to put them in by hand with a rubber mallet. I had to shave them down just a little bit to get them fit, but we're good to go there. And the best part about this, I can now take my air. Hook it up. Make sure this is tight. And we have a... Right now I'm just running off my little pancake air compressor, but I got a larger air compressor on the way to make sure this thing works as it should. And when we need to make it lower, just undo that knob and you push into it and it recedes back in. So overall, super pleased with how this came out. A uh, project I have going forward is I have a pretty heavy duty table in my garage that I was saving specifically for this. And when I say saving specifically for this, what I mean by that is I'm going to mount this to my table where it hangs off to the side so it bends as you can see it right now, but it also has the ability to pivot up if I need to make bigger bends than the height clearance allows me to do. But we'll be doing that in another video. And with that being said, this is one of two big tools that I just recently invested in to help get my shop up and running to the best it can. So. You'll see the next one in a few weeks coming up, but two benders number one, and we got another big one coming. But if you guys have any suggestions for future videos or anything like that, let me know, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.